Senna. Pals. What's going on, everybody? We are watching Easy A starring Emma Stone. We're going to get right into this. Here we go. I don't even know what this is about. Like, do you know anything about this movie? I know a little about it. Like, I think that everyone thinks she's like the high school sleuter. Oh. I used to be anonymous, invisible to the opposite sex. If Google Earth were a guy, he couldn't find me if I was dressed up as a 10-story building. <laughs> Welcome to every guy's life. <laughs> every dude feels like wallpaper. Hello. Hello. What does it all mean? Why am I here? What? Lisa Kudrow. Don't worry. Oh, that's fun. And then it changed pretty quickly when I started lying about some very personal things. Stanley Tucci. Oh, we got like everybody in this yeah. movie. The shutter inducing and cliched, however, totally false account of how I lost my virginity to a guy at a community college. Hey, worse things could happen. Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story. And this is my side, the right one. George is like what you name your teddy bear, not the name you want to scream out. Emma Stone climax. still looks really cute. And I have a hard that. time finding that a guy wouldn't be interested in her. Right. The stable and self-perpetuating end stage of the she evolution of a plant community. Why? What were you thinking? Same, but I don't say it out loud lest someone get the wrong idea. They were both in Spider-Man. Oh yeah. No Way Home. I was like, is that the one he was in? He was in. Spider-Man 3 and No Way Home. Mr. Griffith is my favorite teacher. Although, yeah. after all the trouble I caused, I don't know if I'm still his favorite student. You know, these are bad for you. These are unwanted pregnancy, all sorts of things. What? Mismatched tires on your vehicle, which is non-existent. How does it lead to unwanted pregnancy? <laughs> the lie that started the whole thing. Random. Please, please, I'm begging you. I. I will pay you. Huh. I'll pay you. Bree, I cannot go camping with you, okay? I'm sorry, but I have a date. Okay, I told you. Oh, what's up? You don't know him? And neither do you, you selfish bitch. <laughs> Rhiannon is what you call a strong personality. Mm. A couple weeks ago, she asked me to come camping with her family, and I don't know why I didn't want to go. Is this a movie about Steph? <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by strong personalities? <laughs> <laughs> I ate dinner at her house once, and I swore never again. This is interesting. Oh, God. Truly burger. We grew it in our victory garden. Not sound yummy at all. In our victory garden? I'm trying to watch my figure. Well, I'm not. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Fine. Don't come camping with us. Just know I hate you, bitch. Go get your chocolate milk. Worst song ever. I disagree. That's a. It's such a great song. The card's not gonna have the whole song. It's gonna have like twenty seconds of it. <laughs> Her parents are probably like, what the hell? But on Monday, when Re asked me how my weekend was, he's charming. You know, he's a real gentleman. And, you know, it feels like, feels like oh, I got to love lying. and I know that it's all mine. I guess she said that at the beginning. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What? You didn't have... No, no, of course not. You liar. You totally lost your V-card, Dan. <laughs> V-card? <laughs> I've never heard him called that before. <laughs> <laughs> I want every detail. Ray! Now, bitch! This is how you know, rumors are starting. Bitch a lot, okay? It's not really a term of endearment. I want every detail. Yeah, I disagree now, with that. I just heard pop your cherry. We Off the Virgin Islands. Yes. Off the Virgin Islands. We Island. did it. What'd you let him do? It was normal. You know? Nothing, uh, freaky. <laughs> <laughs> she would be my type in high school. <laughs> the first time I had sort of felt Jabby would be like, do you see how she talks? I just started piling on lie after lie. <laughs> just because she's so awkward. Do you know, like, Glade candles? <laughs> Those kind, but they were, like, sexy Glade candles. Sexy Glade. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no! That's how it starts. And the ripple effect begins. What the hell are you looking at, Sister Christian? Just a couple of admitted whores. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Man, Amanda Vines is such a good actress. The way that this is being done is such a product of its era because now there would be like bubbles and like arrows right. pointing and all this like stuff that modernizes it for like TikTok and Instagram reels and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. I like this style. What you heard in the bathroom the other day wasn't true at all. Um, it's actually a funny story. Olive. Yeah. Yeah. And you're Marianne. Uh, we've had nine classes together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one that you have to answer to for your depraved behavior. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. 
Uh. For the first time ever, my sexual exploits were the talk of the school. Oh, you know what? I'm wrong. It was the second time. The first time was back in eighth grade when all I wanted was a kiss from this guy I'd always had a crush on. I didn't have my first kiss until I was 15. 15? I think yeah. this is the part where you're supposed to... No, actually, that's not true. Off. I was much younger, but this I can't talk about that. <laughs> it's too risque. If we didn't do anything, could you still tell people we kissed? Oh, God. Although, when people thought I kissed someone, they didn't really care. But when they thought that I slept with someone... Hey, Olive. How's it going? Oh, God. Now everybody's interested. Swell. Guy I've never talked to before. Thanks for asking. All I could think to myself was, great. Now I'm a tramp. I'm gonna have to get a lower back tattoo and pierce something not on my face. A butterfly tattoo? <laughs> That's the beauty of being a girl in high school. People hear you had sex once and bam, you're a bimbo. Clearly, Nathaniel Hawthorne is a complex writer. I read him originally when I was five, but I struggled. <laughs> Anson? Drop me a beat. What? Uh -oh. Give me a beat. The teacher that raps. Push it up. <laughs> oh, I do not have the confidence to beatbox at all. Crimes of passion. Kill the beat. The black guy's like, what are you doing, guy? <laughs> <laughs> you see yeah. his face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Books you read in class always seem to have some strong connection with whatever angsty adolescent drama is going on. Except for Huckleberry Finn. Because I don't know any teenage boys who have ever run away with a big hulking black and guy. And crime and punishment. This girl named Hester Prynne yeah, has an affair with the minister, is besmirched, and made to wear a red A for adulterer. Oh, jeez. Then the town realizes she was too harshly judged, and she's really a good person, and she dies a saint. Oh, well, that works out. To say that one was freely adapted is a uh, bit of an understatement, Gavna. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think Hester Prynne was, <laughs> excuse my language, a skank. So you don't think she was a victim at all? Why should I? She brought it on herself. Oh, God. D wow. You should embroider a red A on your wardrobe, you abominable tramp. Perhaps you should sense? get a wardrobe, you abominable twat. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. What happened there? Is that Sting? I'm really, really sorry. Sorry you said it, or sorry you got caught? Sorry I said it, honestly. And sorry I... You know, it got caught a little bit too, but mostly just... Oh, no, it's Malcolm McDowell. Mm. Yeah, I got a little lost in the middle, but I found, I found my way back. Detention after school tomorrow. You going to Melody Bostick's party? Oh, I hadn't planned on it. Mm, me neither. My cousin's getting married. It's a rehearsal dinner. See ya. Stay excellent. That was a very random conversation. Please tell me the rumors are true. Yes. Yes, I am a big fat... No, no, not that one. The one where you got suspended for calling Nina Howl a dick and you punch her in the left hip. Whoa, this telephone game travels quick. I think I'm in love with you. Okay. Please tell me you at least <laughs> left a mark on that little scrunched up face of hers. It's not true. What was in the left hip? It was the right one. It's like it doesn't even matter what you say. It's crazy. Can you listen to me for one second, please? Pow, 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 okay. pow. It didn't happen. Oh, yeah, right. Her secret's safe with me, you little sex monkey. Oh my gosh. She's trying so hard. We're reading a book that I personally deem wildly inappropriate for our age group, so I actually felt it was quite apropos. What did you say? Let's just say it was an inappropriate word. Well, what did it start with? A snide comment from a snotty girl in my class. No, I mean, what letter did the word start with? Ah, uh, T. Oh, T. Oh, Do they know right away? T. 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 Noun, adjective, or verb? Noun. It's definitely slang. Think British. Tallywhacker? Termigant. Yob. Frass. Tallywhacker. That's so stupid. I got a B plus in my spelling test today. That's good, honey, but everything has spell check these days. So. Mm. <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> so what's with your new look? Very couture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did hear something. I also heard he was twice your age. Oh, no, 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 no. He was a freshman in college. I also heard he gave you craps. Ew, he will suck. Tell me about it. He's not real. What? The guy I slept with. I love that she's trying so hard to be clean about this yeah. and everyone just will, will hold on to the false information. They love the story they create more. Well, you're not even a real s You just want people to think you are. It's pathetic. <laughs> but uh, you could probably learn something from me, Brando. Uh, are you saying that, that I should act straight so people will like me? That's groundbreaking. 
The next day, things took a turn for the scandalous. Which brings us to part three. A lady's choice and a gentleman's agreement. <laughs> Do you want to be my girlfriend? Brandon, just a couple hours ago, you told me you were Kinsey Six gay. True, but you said I should pretend to be straight, so... Yeah, I didn't mean with me. Why not? So you're saying I shouldn't really have sex. I should just say I had sex with someone. With her. Yes. Can it be you? No, no, no. Just... No, no, no. Hear me out. We could help each other out. You know what? This is not the answer at all. I'll pay you. I'll pay you whatever you want. I don't want your Whoa. money, Brandon. <laughs> you don't understand how hard it is, all right? I'm... Torment and every day at, at school is like I'm being suffocated and no, please just help me Because I can't take another day of this. I don't know what I'll do. I don't do anything half-assed. All right. What does that mean? Melody Bostic is throwing a party yeah. tomorrow night. <laughs> and tell everyone that I am sensational. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. Tell everyone I'm sensational. <laughs> I think at that age every woman is sensational. <laughs> <laughs> We had a few pre-cocktail party cocktails, like before the cocktail party, <laughs> with cocktails. Mm. <laughs> Here's the set. Melody Balls. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon was just in the middle of telling me this really good thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wrap, I think. Reminds me of Jimmy Fallon when he does the ew uh. skit. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Relax. Jesus, what is with you gays? Are you are you really that repulsed by lady parts? What do you think I have down there? A gnome? Shut! <laughs> now grunt, grunt, and make it convincing. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Moan, you know, like, like, like sex noises. What is. God, oh my gosh. Yes, you're pathetic. <laughs> she should be the one making the noises. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear oh, yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, women can be really aggressive with the butt stuff, with the slapping. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get that. I'll be like, honey, yo, that stung. It was like a shockwave of pain. Well, she worked up a sweat. <laughs> oh, hey. Todd, hi. Oh, uh, man. I thought you were your cousin's rehearsal dinner. It was a quick rehearsal. I only had one line. Ah. Oh. Oof, that was a joke. Uh, Damn know. it. Ah, uh, ha, ha. <laughs> Sorry. How's it going? <laughs> he heard everything, right? I'm here. Can I get you a beer? That rhymed. I liked it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess he didn't hear it. Well, he's about to find out. Oh, God, this is so tragic. I'm gonna go. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. Uh, see you at the salt mines. He doesn't look at all like the guy that would be in one of those uh, mascot outfits. He looks more like a jock. That boy from yesterday just dropped this off for you. He seems like a nice kid. He seemed a little incredibly gay. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Mom just saw right through everything. Although we were kind of hoping you'd get knocked up so we'd have a second shot at raising kids. Really <gasps> do it right this time. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is so funny. I feel like the next generation of parents are, are going to be more like her. Yes. Just in case you don't shop at Target, then you can go screw yourself. What? Brandon. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Is it true you got with Brandon at Melody Dipshit's party? Uh, is that what people are saying happened? That's what everyone is saying happened. That's hap a vibrator for sure. Well, then I guess that's, uh, I guess that's true. Just because you lost your virginity doesn't mean you can go around throwing your cat at everybody. <laughs> 
Why didn't you tell me you were going to the party? I would have come with and out your hair or something. Wait, are you really making this about you right now? I was about to ask the same thing. You're kind of pissing me off a little more than usual. I'm sorry if I think it's a best friend's duty to let her know that everyone, and I do mean everyone, is calling her a dirty skank. Here's the climax. I'd be the dirtiest skank they'd ever see. Where'd she get this money? Laundry is expensive. Is everything all right? Sounds like you're having sex in here, which I know can't be true due to the fact that you have a homosexual boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment. All God's children. It's fine. I was gay once for what? a while. No big deal. What? You all do it. Oh my God. I love the parents. You all right, buddy? Yeah. They have an interesting way of being supportive. I feel like you should know what she's about to do. Oh no. Does she have an A on it? Yeah. Yeah. But shouldn't it be a T? I know it's modeled after the Scarlet Letter, but I guess it's a way to shove it in the, that girl's face. What are you doing? Nothing. Don't forget tomorrow's Earth Day. <laughs> Olive Pendergast. We need to pray for her. Amen. Amen. But we also need to get her the hell out of here. I'm sure you guys heard what happened at Melody Bostick's party. I was there. These two dudes look so legitimate, like from this kind of circle. Have you yes. ever, you've never been to Oasis, have you? No. I've been to Oasis a couple times. It's okay. I'm sorry, you guys. This is so stupid. No, it's not, Marianne. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Dude. Jesus tells us to love everyone. I mean, even the, wh the homosexuals, but it's just so hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hysterical. Make God a promise. Pure and chaste until marriage. We promise. Awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. just so awesome. hard. I love you guys. God loves they you keep guys. doing it. Lives today. They keep being people. You left your grass slipper at the party the other night. Yeah, and I got pumpkin all over my dress, too. Say lovey. Lovey. Nice. Solid joke. Wow. Sucks, because we could have revisited Melody's bedroom. Oh my god, that was Melody Bostick's house. Damn. Can't believe you remember that. Come on, who doesn't remember their first almost kiss? Don't get mad, but uh, Brandon told me what you did for me. Why would he do that? Rest assured, it was equally as thrilling for me. No, he told me the truth. Why would he do that? I was hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. Goodbye, Evan. I'll give you a hundred bucks. You are repugnant. Uh, duh. That's the problem. Mm -mm. Sorry, I asked. Just a fat piece of shit. <laughs> okay. I feel like he's really gilding the lily here yeah. with this. <laughs> like, Card deposited into my locker by noon tomorrow. Preferably to the gap, but I will also take Amazon.com or Office Max. Actually, make it Office Max. We didn't know it. Have sex. Okay, I let you fondle my chest, and it was a glorious moment for you. A hundred bucks for second base? Yeah, yeah. That's a lot for you, dude. <laughs> I mean, was that the Christian girl just now? Yeah. It's so fascinating. I was like, they're supposed to be holier than thou, but they're spreading this information. Right. Yeah. But for people who knew the truth, I was open for business. And whether I liked it or not, I had a lot of customers. Dang. Phil Lord gave me a hundred bucks from Best Buy so he could tell people we hooked up behind the library. I got $50 from TJ Maxx so that Eric Ling could say we got it on during chemistry. I can't see this Eric Ling kid having a hard time, honestly. I want John Cusack holding a boombox outside my window. I want to ride off on a lawnmower with Patrick Dempsey. I want Jake and 16 Candles waiting outside the church. I haven't seen 16 Candles, have you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It apparently didn't age well. I haven't seen it in years. How I, Olive Pendergast, went from assumed trollop to an actual home. <laughs> trollop, I love that word. I'm hearing some rumors. Well, those are true. I don't know what your generation's fascination is with documenting your every thought. Every single one. And I can assure you it's gotten worse. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I want to apologize for sending you to the principal's office. 
truthfully, and I'll deny it if you say anything, I wanted to be cheering with the rest of the students. No, oh, gosh. I don't know what it is about Nina. I hate her. Protective. <laughs> I hate her. She's awful. Awful. Hypocritical. Bye-bye. Stay golden. Hi, Mrs. Griffith. Oh, Hi. Oh, Lisa you? How are you? Finally. A's for awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah. She has the best laugh. It's good to hey, see you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. Do me a favor, then. Just talk to her. I think she's going through a phase. And... Oh, wait. Is that... That's not the girl everyone's talking about, is it? It is. Are you a Friends fan? I've never seen it. I know, too. I know. <sighs> oh, my God. At least watch the, out, the outtakes. She's okay. got the best laugh in the world. Olive, you're attempting to make a statement. I'm just a little confused as to what exactly that is. Am I in trouble? She knows her shit. If I uh, open up to you, do you promise this stays in confidence? She's going to say something snarky. I'm the guidance counselor. That's what I do. Okay, I mean, truth. I have a reputation to uphold. Don't you, though? Here you go. I really don't need those. Oh, you really do. Can anyone listen to her? Olive, do what you got to do, OK? Let your freak flag fly. Just make sure you have an exit strategy. Do you want to listen to her, though? I really, I don't need no, You know what? Oh, the my God. Is not 100% effective. Ask some of your friend's parents. Shut up. Thank you for coming in. Oh, this is unfortunately real. You just send in the next person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Counselors in high school do not listen. What the hell? You're up, Hoss. Everything's going to be okay. What happened? Do you think it's a little strange that your boyfriend is 22 years old and still in high school? His choice. His, his. I don't think you can stay in high school at 22 years old. You got to go to adult school at yeah. that point. Okay. So why was he blubbering like a baby? <gasps> is he struggling with his sexuality? No, you insensitive rhymes with which his parents are going to divorce. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> That was so quick. <laughs> Aww. Insensitive rhymes with witch. Sometimes our boyfriend's parents, <laughs> they get divorced, you know? And it's important to remember, it's not your fault. But they go to our church. What will people say? Oh, wow. How long uh, do these embraces usually last? Because I got to go. But I, are you going to be OK? Yes, I'm gonna be okay. Mrs. Griffith is amazing, and she's gonna help Micah, and everything's gonna be okay. Wait, why are you even being so nice to me? She's a nice person. It. No, <laughs> she's taking the credit. I'm not to you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The worst. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I would not want to be here. It's just too much. After skill today? Well, it's just what I thought. Chlamydia. Who have you been screwing? Tell me. That doctor would not say that in front of the mom like that. Oh, oh Pendergast. Oh, my God. He said Olive. Oh, goodness. I, I have to tell them. No, I do not care that you gave me chlamydia. I don't. Why are you saying this really loud? And I want to be with you. And nobody can stop us. Not my mother. Oh, my God. What? Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, I was suspecting that when he went in that office. What do you want? What do you want? Just go. Oh, oh perfect. Just I messed up, okay? I just goddamn shit. Goddamn messed up. Really. You needed condoms. Yeah, I know, right? That irony. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to use that kind of language in front of a student. Yeah, you know what else you're not supposed to do is sleep with them. But that didn't stop me. She would not me. be this forthright, would she? Wait. Oh, well. She's in, a, she's in the thick of it, so I guess it makes sense. My marriage is not great, okay? We haven't slept together in, like, in months. In months, all right? So finally, this great-looking guy comes in, and he's nice to me, you know? So then he's telling everybody that it was you, so he has to say, because he didn't want me to lose my job, and he doesn't want to get in trouble either, so he said it's you. Sorry. How many people is she sleeping with? I'm going to fix it, Olive, okay? I'll tell everyone. I don't even know how you get I'm going to tell everyone I, that it's I thought you'd have to have a lot okay, of partners just, to get chlamydia. Yeah. I don't know how that works. I don't know either. 
Thankfully, so I don't know. I'm so innocent. Call Micah. Tell him he is an ass and he owes me so big for this, but also tell him I confess to giving him chlamydia. This is so crazy given the, we started out talking about uh, Scarlet Letter. You're going down, Olive. Great, if this is because I'm more popular than you, then I really think the one well, you're doing is take popularity for info. You don't want to do you? I'll be praying for you. No one listens to her. Like, nobody. You okay? I'm awesome. I'm awesome. <laughs> Screw all these people. All of you. <laughs> Assuming there is a hell. Oh, the, the Christian church recognizes the existence of hell. Okay, so for argument's sake. No, there's no argument. It's there. Oh my gosh. He's not listening. What would be worse, lying or adultery? Or is lying about adultery just like double whammy? Sorry. Come on. Uh, Oh, what a small world. And that makes perfect sense. I had unwittingly sought advice from the father of the leader of my lunch mob. What other complete and total idiot mm, say that's happened to them? It's a bad day. Oh, that's the worst. Ah. You're just trying to like get it together and more shit's falling. <laughs> I was wondering uh, if you were busy tonight. Maybe want to go out or something? Uh, what did you have in mind? I was thinking about getting a hot air balloon. It's epic. We could just go to the lobster shack because it's, you know, a little easier. I love the lobster shack. Good. I wish I ate lobster. I'm not into it. No oh gosh, first date so off. Do you believe uh, this whole thing about lobster being an aphrodisiac? I did not know it, I was. it was. Oysters. Medical science really has not substantiated claims that any particular food increases sexual desire or performance, but guys just spend and spend to ply women with food they think is going to get them lucky. What is sexy about slurping back oysters? <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Okay, did you know that some people actually eat grind up rhinoceros horn? Because it's thought to increase the size of the male sex organ. Spanish fly! Oh. Spanish fly! You've heard of this? <laughs> She's totally overwhelming him. Am I talking too much? No, no, no. You're just burning through a lot of topics really fast. Shouldn't have had <laughs> coffee three weeks ago. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like if Jabby and her met, it would be like an explosive conversation. I would love it. Yeah. Birthday party again. <laughs> Hope you're happy, happy birthday's been the best. I know Woodchuck Todd worked here. Oh, this piece of cake is free. Have a happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. You're, you're the best. You're the best. I want his energy. Yeah, he's the best. I said hip, 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 happy, hip, hip, happy birthday. Oh. What's wrong? What's wrong? Korean and so, so? So she's been in love with you since first grade. So? She's my best friend. Well, I thought you two weren't speaking. We're not. But that doesn't mean that she's not my best friend. That's complicated. I have a gift certificate. Keep the tip. Thanks. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Go. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, she saw. And she's going to assume the wrong thing. She's going to assume they're sleeping together. <sighs> Damn it. Like, she try, she's trying to do the right thing. Brutal. I've got something for you. $200 to the Home Depot. Oh, my God. She thought she was going on a real date. That sucks. So what do we do on this date? Whatever 200 bucks gets me. Mm. Oh, he thought that. Stop! What? No, what? no! What? Stop! Come on, just relax. Come on. Wow, this guy's a real jerk. Holy real shit. Real jerk. Oh my gosh. Like, that was abundantly clear. <laughs> paid you. Give it back. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what an a-hole. That was gross. Olive, hey, let me drive you home. Okay, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna be the first person it? to listen? I think that's the goal here. I think that's, yeah, the trajectory. Everybody thinks I'm a whore. And for the first time, I'm starting to believe it. What? Don't act like you don't know what people are saying about me. No, I know what people are saying. Doesn't mean I believe them. Who told you? No one. No one had to tell me. But once upon a time, there was a scared little kid at a oh, party. Oh yeah. He, oh, that's right. The seed is planted already for him. He was not ready for his first kiss, and an amazing girl lied for him. I still can't believe I remember that. <laughs> you know, sometimes I pretend you were my first real kiss. Who was? It was Rhiannon. 
What? What she must have told you. That sucks. Oh my god. She knew how I felt about you. Where, how do you Here she about? is. Here I am. The scurrying You're out so of the red bad. lobster that, that's just for her best serious. friend. Hold on a second. How, uh, how do you feel about me? Felt. Oh, dang. How do you know where I live? We used to carpool. Yeah, in second grade. What are you, like a savant for people's addresses? Just for people who I think are cool. <laughs> a little stalkery. <laughs> if I promise not to tell anyone, could I kiss you right now? No. Okay, okay. So oh, no, no, no. I just mean, I just mean not like this. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Honestly, she's like, she just got done crying. Right now, my life is a mess. I need to get my business in order before I drag you into it. What if I told you I want to be dragged into it? See? Guys are so... God, stop. This is the problem with dudes. <laughs> this is what we do. Do we go together now? We, we just want to fix things. He's so great. Okay, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can't tell you how many people I've tried to fix. <laughs> we gotta stop, Jabby. That's how I get into relationships all the time. Find, the most, stop. find the most problematic girl. Aha! <laughs> Why are you all of a sudden into me now? Good I don't know. I haven't overanalyzed it like you're about to. I would. Good night, Olive. Good night, Lobster Todd. Why is he into her all of a sudden? Please do this for me, all right? I did that for you. Do this for me. I don't want people to know that I didn't go to second base with you. Do you know how many girls I've hooked up with because of that? Well, you got that reputation now. You're good. Due to his condition, Micah was sent on an extended visit to his grandparents in Palatka, Florida. And if there's one thing worse than chlamydia, it's Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, there's such life is quick lines in here. I made a bad one, but then so did you. But I see no other alternative than to just live with the guilt. Wow. I could just tell everyone the truth and get you fired and put in jail. Let's play the who would you believe game, okay? Why don't you ask yourself, if you were an adult, who would you believe, huh? Who would you believe? Jesus. Thank you for coming in. Damn. I would go straight to her husband. Immediately. Yeah. Mrs. Griffith was pure evil, but I still shouldn't have done what I did. She's desperate. And Your wife has chlamydia, and she's sleeping with a student, and she gave it to him, and she's trying to blame me. What? That was harsh, but... I really wanted an awesome musical number for no apparent reason. It's very Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. <laughs> Unless her guy of interest is a born again Christian too, he'd be slaying in high school. <laughs> like Right. Perfect jawline and all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they hate. Log on to www.freeolive.com tonight at 6 p.m. And I know it interferes with the basketball game, but come on. Would you rather be here cheering on the woodchucks or watch me do one? Here you all are, waiting outside the bedroom door for me to kiss Todd, listening to me pretend to have sex with Brandon, paying me to lie for you. What is this little husband in Scarlet Letter? Except that's the one thing the movies don't tell you. How shitty it feels to be an outcast, warranted or not. Yep. Ish rough. Oh, she got her dream. Yes! Webcast. Still going on, you know. Screw them. They've had enough of you. Well, figuratively speaking. I, uh, I, I borrowed my neighbor's mower. Mm -hmm. I'll be right there. That's Todd. Not that I owe you guys any more confessions, but, um... Sony Vio. <laughs> kid. <laughs> the kid is like, huh? <laughs> he hears way too much information. Yeah. 
That's rough. Oh, man. That's rough. Look, she tried to tell you. You didn't listen. I really don't feel like she was owed an apology, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's great. That was fun. Yeah. That was that was a, an experience to say for sure. It's so frustrating how how real it feels that like she tried to tell so many people the truth and they just refused to listen. They were so fixated on the lie or the the rumor that was said instead of just hearing what she had to say. It almost felt like Mother sometimes. I don't think you saw that, mm -hmm. right? That's an Aronofsky film in that Jennifer Lawrence is just never heard. She keeps trying to like talk and like people just making her feel awful. That's the easiest way to put it without giving too much away. The movie is weird and cool. You watch it one time and that's it. Don't right, ever watch okay, it again. It's, okay. it's like it's a horrifying film yeah. to watch. But anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed this. I think that it, for the most part, I don't know when this came out, but it, it feels like it was years ago and it held up. I feel like it's a strange sister to Mean Girls. Mm. And I thought that it had some really funny characters, some really funny lines. It reminded me of how I truly am so happy I never have to go back to high school. It's just such a confusing, awful time for yeah. so many people where yeah. People just spread rumors and don't know how to act and go into these groups and act completely like dickheads. <laughs> yeah. But in the, I like the ending. I, I like that she owned it and became like an OG YouTuber. It's interesting to see what the, how people treated the internet back then before YouTube took over and Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. I mean, I feel like YouTube and all that stuff had been around already, but- Live streaming. How were we live streaming before YouTube? I like, don't know. As I can't even remember. It's almost like having a sibling. It's like, it's, right. it's so weird to think about what it was like before they were around. Right. You know what I, mean? I don't know. In any case, I enjoyed the storytelling. I enjoyed um, going on this journey with her. And I think it was a little bit thought provoking insofar as it, it lets you know that sometimes it's good to just listen to what someone's saying instead of talking over them. Right. You know, the most frustrating, I think, two scenes in the film, which felt very real, was when she talked to the counselor. Right. And when she spoke to the priest. And it's like, these are two people that are supposed to listen to you. My experiences with priests, what little I've talked to them, haven't been bad. If I've gone to confession, they just listen. They like, they just sit, sit there and listen and then they tell you to go do a couple of Our Fathers and Hail Marys, etc. <laughs> but I've had bad experiences with, with counselors just not listening. Right. Uh, and so I hated my counselor in high school. She was just like, she wasn't really interested in what I wanted to do with my future and my path. Oh, okay, you know what I mean? yeah. And so I feel like that's sort of the job though. Right. You know? I know that should have been such a red flag for that counselor to be the worst listener ever. So it makes sense her arc. Yeah. Because yikes. I never went to the counselor, but for reasons like that, where I heard like it's pointless. Yeah. You know, they're just clocking in and clocking out. They don't want to be there as much as no one. And the kids don't want to be there. The counselors don't want to be there. Nobody wants to be right, there. Right, right. You know, I haven't seen another film like this that I can think of where a character is wearing a bad reputation at the service of everybody else. Mm -hmm for their benefit. I can't think of another story like this. It's it's very unique in that way. The craziest part for me though, was when you found out that Lisa Kudrow was sleeping with the student and she decided to keep wearing that reputation. And it's like, and Lisa Kudrow accepted that offer. I'm like, yo, like you really should, that's, that's when you need to start examining your life <laughs> and your decisions. That's bad. <laughs> you know, I'm not to say it doesn't happen. I'm sure that like, I don't know. But to let a child bear the weight of your awful decisions right is next level yeah but the sad part is like a lot of that felt kind of like true to life you right know? i mean i you I, you wouldn't catch a counselor sleeping with a there's no 22 year old no in no school. if that was a thing back then it's definitely not a thing now no. you know you, they just send you off to adult school to get, right. to get your ged but for the movie it's fine you yeah. know it, it works I mean, this could have easily been community college. And mm -hmm. it, would have been, it would have been the same thing, honestly. The way that they handled the relationship with Lisa Kudrow and um, what's his name, who played her husband? Uh, Sandman. Sl yeah, Sandman. Uh, Thomas Hayden Church. I thought that was interesting. It wasn't a neat bow. He let go of her, but he missed her. And that's what that look said at the end. I felt bad for him because he, yeah. you know, he legitimately like wanted to spend more time with her and she was kind of pushing him off and right. stuff like that and who knows what and like there's a lot that you can unpack from that because it's it's such a small part of the story but the way they wrote it it felt like it was actually quite layered you know it's like who knows how long this has been going on do you ever see the movie unfaithful 
with Richard Gere and uh, oh, Diane I Lane. Think so yeah, it's like this could have been going on for a while, and he's trying to romance her, and she's just kind of like, eh, and then come to find out what she's actually doing, and you know, he doesn't want to leave her, but he didn't feel like he had a choice, right? And, you know, and she's trying to reach out to him, and he's like, I'm phasing you out. <laughs> yeah, like, it's like not only is she was she cheating on him, she was clearly student. cheating yeah. on him quite a bit and acquired chlamydia. Yeah, and then gave it to a student. You can't go back from that. Yeah, especially as in his position as a teacher. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I was half expecting him to work it out with her only because of this whole thing around Scarlet Letter. They made a whole point where it was something about the the, the, the born again Christian girl going like, oh, she's the worst person ever. He's like, don't you have any empathy for her at all? Mm -hmm. So I would have thought that that's like his marriage becomes an extension of that story. So oh, okay. You know what I mean? But I guess it just it never too far. Back. Yeah. <laughs> it's too, too far. far. <laughs> Chlamydia, too far. Too far. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did enjoy her parents, Stanley Tucci and Patricia Clarkson. The best. Those were the, my fave characters. Yeah. For sure. I mean, they're very unusual, but I enjoyed them. It felt a little bit like Juno in that way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's uh, a good call. Yeah. Stanley Tucci was my favorite character in the film. Just his 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 enthusiasm and his sense of humor. It felt very relatable, even though I don't know any dads like that. Like, it's his personality still, still felt relatable. But, yeah, you know? I really do. I'm, I agree with what you said where I think the newer age parents are going to be a little more, more like them. Yeah. Maybe not because I think it's impossible. Not impossible, but a parent's hardest struggle must be not having severe anxiety about every one of your chil children's decisions. Yeah. And they were absent of that yeah, yeah. or I, they showed absent emotions um, but I liked how playful and honest they were with their kids I, I I really hope that I'm that kind of parent while I enjoyed the story and I enjoyed the journey the character went on and all that stuff I did have a hard time believing Emma Stone and Penn Badgley I just had a hard time believing that they didn't already like that she wasn't getting asked out all the time Right. That he didn't have like the, the, a cheerleader girlfriend or something. Like, and like they never really explained why he suddenly had an interest in her as opposed to two weeks prior. There's some deleted scene on the editing room floor that helped to to patch that for me. And they just never bothered. It almost felt like they were calling it out. Do you ever see Happy Death Day? Yes. So near the end of the film, they talk about Groundhog's Day, mm -hmm. kind of making fun of yeah. the fact that they like totally borrowed this concept, yeah. right? There in that scene at the car, he's like, don't think about it. I know you're about to overthink it, but don't. He's not really saying it to Emma Stone. He's saying it to the audience. And that annoys me. I'm like, no, f*** you, movie. Yeah. You need to explain this. Like, where was he? Where were his feelings? The, oh, okay, so I think that that might have been it. But what I took away from it was that he ended up falling in love with like who she was in terms of that deep compassion to be able to put okay. herself as the martyr for all these other people okay. and, and then wear it with her chest. Okay. Because he's like, you did that for me so I could put the, that puzzle together. No one had to tell me. Oh man, would I have liked it more if they had said that? I needed them to spoon feed me that okay, a little bit. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you got that and I'm glad you shared that with me because that makes more sense of it. That's a good justification. That actually makes a lot of sense. He seems like a good dude is yeah. the way the movie painted him. Right. And so... Instead of like, oh no, I just... I just do now. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they said some, some kind of hint that was a little bit more clear for me, like the dummy watching this. Because the scene at the pool, he's like, hey, buddy. And he like pushed her shoulder. I'm like, I would never, ever do that with a girl right. that I was like legitimately interested in. Right. I would have a hard time talking to her first off because I was such a dweeb in high school. What's changed? I wouldn't be able to make contact like that. Right. You know, I'd be too nervous. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but he clearly like saw her as just a friend and that transition needed to be just a little bit more clear for me. Yeah. Um, but I do like that justification. Maybe that's what it was, you know, that he just saw that she was a good person, mm -hmm. you know, based on their history. And I kind of dumbly forgot that that could inform why he was able to see the truth of what was going on. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. We weren't told. Yeah. I thought that, uh, you know, you mentioned Amanda Bynes a couple times over the course of the film. I thought she did a really good job yeah. as that character. Her and her whole posse, you know? <laughs> totally. Yeah. Like, the, the, she just very was very believable as that hardcore, born-again Christian individual. Yes. Some of the behavior was a little bit, was it was exaggerated. But the culture of those circles is so authentic and so accurate. I don't know what it is, but like my ex-girlfriend said, they just always seem so happy. 
<laughs> and it was her inspiration to want to go become born again oh, Christian. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if she did or not. Okay. But I'd uh, love to find that out. Yeah, I'm I'm not talking to her. They always just seem so joyful all the time, but you one can't help but think, at least the cynic in me goes, this is just a facade, right? Like, you can't really be that happy all the time. Right. right? You know what I mean? It's a little... Unless your name is Steph. Just kidding. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am, definitely. But not always. Not always. You guys, thanks so much for hanging. I'm Jabby Kuwait. This is Steph Sarat. Peace out.